Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for another cursor map. That's right, there's a couple of cursor assist maps, so I figured let's, let's give them a go. I saw the, the three here, so I was like, you know what, let's start with cursor assist one. It's from Lord Cat, so let's get going. Assist the base with your cursor to clear the map of Creeper. The automated base will defend the land you have secured, but not if it is not strong enough to clear the map by itself, so we will have to do some things. I mean, oh my gosh, I, I actually have to do something. I mean, that's always the worst. Automated systems online. Defense mode, online. Offense mode, offline. Scanners, they're online as well. Um, so yeah, warning, creeper detected, warning. Creeper has been detected, initiating anti-creep protocols. Warning, creeper detected, warning. Okay. Uh, creeper's been detected and the anti-creep protocols have been initiated. The automated base's offensive mode is not available and must be augmented with anti-creep. The, uh, uh, the base is operating under a defense mode, which will hold any lands that have been fully secured. Your duty is to assist the automated base by sweeping your anti-creep across the reclaimed land. Uh, your power will grow as uh, more of the land is covered in anti-creep. Uh, this is a, a cursor anti-creep map and it's best played in overhead mode. So we will be doing that. Thank you very much. Um, let's take a look at the map. As you can see, we have plenty of things placed. And there are towers on the map. But you can see they're, they're kind of sporadically spread out. So that's what they mean by defense mode. They're not going to be pushing nothing. It's up to us to push. Although we may need them to help us push, of course. That is always a potential of uh, essentially everything, right? Well, it's kind of a potential. Uh, but let's see what we got. We got, uh, you know, lots of little towers. Uh, I think one thing to note is uh, some nullifiers. Like, the nullifier here is actually behind. Uh, the nullifier on this emitter is literally right on top of it. You know, things like that. And this emitter gets a nullifier behind as well. I mean, it'll be nice when we get that, but at the same time, I mean, we got... I mean, it'd be nice if the nullifier is, like, right there, right? I mean, it'd take a lot sooner. <laughs> I mean, just saying, that's my perspective. Uh, but we start with a base. It does have some nice energy reserves. It has uh, some lovely satellite dishes. Energy collectors, if you will. And, yeah, that's going to be quite fun. Now, we do have some AC uh, breeding zones on the map, which will be fantastic. And and of course split breeder which we're gonna need to try and get to so let's uh toss on our lovely lovely overhead mode let's toss on our map indicator let's get into some anti-creep and see what we can do uh something tells me uh, we need to kick this party off as fast as possible by getting this bad boy down all the way to this breeding zone now it's not breeding yet but of course the goal will be for it to be breeding I and mean, that's, that's always the goal get your get your anti-creep anti-creeping and uh, get your breeders a breeding. And uh, I'm going up over the top here because, you know, we could go around, but by going over the top kind of gets us close to two yellow split breeders. As you can see, I want to make sure we get in there and ideally we'll make it into here with a little bit of breeding. Just a little bit of breeding. Not much, not much, but a nice little start. So we have some buffer zone. Now, problematically, our base is not making enough power. We are going to be losing ground here. Uh, I think this might be able to hold on its own, but I don't think this northern uh, split breeder can officially hold on its own. So that is a slight problem here. It will be breeding in just a few seconds. I also want that to breed, so I'm going to snag that as well. Um, but I think, there we go, we should get our split breeder breeding. Uh, and that's just, that's going to hold a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully now we can start to push things back. We can start to recollect, reframe and maybe be able to hold both split breeders i don't know we need we need some towers to get built though. that's the key <laughs> we, we need some things built yesterday and yeah we're still we're still in a mighty mighty big deficit right now but again we're we're, bre we're split breeding again right now which is amazing gotta love the split breeding happening and yeah I, th I think we do have some nice holding potential. We just need these mortars online. We need this hill, but unfortunately, I think we lost our connections to the top, which is a shame. Uh, or we never even made connections to the top. Say, say lost. I mean, they're just covered in creep, and they were never built to begin with. So let's hope we can start getting our power situated. Uh, the mortars are starting to get built, which is grand. The uh, the urn port is kicking off. You know, we're starting to get values there. So, you know, we, we have some 
we have some gains. We have some pushback. Once we close this puppy off, I think we uh, actually can hold this land without actually needing our cursor. So that's going to be pretty substantial, I think. Uh, but look at that. We actually have full power. Oh my, oh my. Looks like things stabilized in a quite a nice way. This is quite nice for us. I mean, we, ha we have both slip readers, which is fantastic. Uh, we're making progress. We're going straight for this first emitter. Oh, I never even uh, covered the map. I mean, there's there's a bunch of emitters. There's some spore launchers. There's uh, a whole slew of things, of course. And our goal is, of course, to just to destroy them all. Uh, and by destroy, I mean nullify peacefully, I believe is the appropriate creeper world term. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't sound as fun as destroy them all, if you ask me. Uh, <laughs> that's just me, though. Uh, ooh, and we need to get this split breeder. Now that being... Or this uh, creeper breeder, not split breeder. Now that being said, though... We are also in a place where we're at Creeper Cap. Creeper Cap is 3.5. We're at 3.5. So basically, every time we destroy something, they make that much more. So they're, we're not really in a super danger. You know, like this breeder probably wouldn't breed all the way, you know, its entire quota, quotient. Um, but, you know, it's still good to get rid of because, you know, it, it helps us take more land. More land is more power. I mean, we started at a very weak emitter. We're already up to 1.14. Doesn't sound too bad to me. Uh, hell, we're, we're basically destroying our first emitter as we speak. So first one, down. Again, I'm so glad that we had uh, the both split breeders here. I think I think that actually helped quite a lot. Uh, because, you know, it's just, it's just free real estate, free gains for us. I'm not even going to worry about this emitter up here any longer. I'm going to start moving along, moving away. Uh, because if we cut off the creep over here, then that means that's all just going to dry up to our anti-creep. So we don't really care. But we do care about this breeding zone right there. Ooh, 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 okay, okay. Okay, skimmers. You did a good job. You took my friend here. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Oh, no, my friend. You were so, you were so close. You were, you know, standard one day to retirement. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's we need we need to get pushing again and I think maybe maybe the skimmer factory is ripe for the picking. Uh you know, it'll give us a nice little partial surround on that. Hopefully it'll give us access to the top of this mountain hill. Uh one of the two. Uh, but we do need Oh, jeez. The, the creep. See, our cursor not that strong if you ask me. I mean, it's it's not weak by per se, but it's not that strong. So thankfully, uh, we are getting our breeding ground push going, which is actually helping substantially with this. We are getting closer and closer to the skimmer factory. Uh, hopefully, we're getting closer and closer to the top of the hill. Uh, now, we are not building anything there because no power is connected, but ooh, a cannon right there would be lovely. Okay, I want this cannon. This cannon in me. Uh, yeah. Or actually, it's a sprayer. This sprayer in me. We're gonna we're gonna do some good things and good things. But I mean, I mean, we're gonna start by destroying the skimmer factory. Get out of here, skimmer factory! I don't want you coming at me any longer. You've already uh, messed up plenty of my plans. So, and let's also do some defenses up here, because now we're actually gonna be able to start taking the top of this hill as well. So I think taking the top of the hill will be very good. Losing it at the second because of the uh, the stash, but you know what? We shall get through that. And once these mortars are built, I foresee very, very good things. Then we'll push down. Probably this emitter next. Uh, we could go for that. That might be quite good. Although I don't know where we'd have the most luck, right? I mean, I do... That, I mean, that area would be immensely huge. But I also don't want to be like, well... This would be easy to take, right? I mean, you kind of want you kind of want your victories where you can get them. Ooh, we lost a lot of power. Okay, so that's gonna that's gonna again. Wait, where did those skimmers even come from? This oh, maybe it came out right before nullification. Ooh, that those tricky skimmers. You know, they they just do what they need to do, and it's not very fun. I am going for the split breeder. I'm not gonna lie. I should, probably shouldn't. Uh, and we're gonna hold these mortars the best as possible. I want them to keep shooting keep the uh, creep down while we push out this line. It'll get us more green R, which I don't think there's rockets or anything, so I don't think the green R is super necessary. Yeah, we're not even using the green R. Uh, so, yeah, that doesn't really matter. I guess it's for totems. Uh, I did not look at the totem quotients? Quotients? Quotients. Totem quotients. Oh my gosh, my brain. It's not really working it's so hot right now, but the totem quotients, maybe some need like 200 green R. You never know. 
doubtful, <laughs> doubtful, <laughs> but it could, it's anything is possible. Uh, I think that's a good way to sort of uh, make sure the the totem uh, requirement is not just hey you connect it up for three seconds. You know, if it's a pretty high quotient, uh, if, especially for green art, which is something that you really don't need. Uh, you know, make sure you're make sure you were getting that as early as possible. Ooh, we're getting in and we're getting a cannon on the front lines with a nice sprayer. Oh my gosh, I think I think we're gonna get another. Oh no, friendos! No, I let him die and I lost the ground. It's like everything went bad at once. But that's okay. That's okay. We are getting this split breeder ground. This is this is the area that matters, right? This is the area that will push for us, that will hold for us, that will gain us ground. So yeah, I want I want at least half of this, and I'm pretty sure we have at least half. I think we have the bigger half for sure. I think we're you know, pushing two thirds. And there we go, it's split breeding. It's allowing us to even take the rest, because again, their side, not really breeding that much. So, hold this maybe for one more breeding cycle. Use this to push out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be glorious. So I think that's the goal right now. Of course, we want to find more units, maybe get this emitter. I definitely want the zone with the stash, though. That stash has got to go. It's taking out this mortar so many times. Uh, luckily, I'm able to keep the other mortar alive just by a little a little dab. Uh, so we're, we are dabbing on them quite a little bit, but there we go, there we go. Now, we'll get this mortar back. We can really start pushing. Look at the power that this has given us. Oh, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Oh, I think they sniped a couple eggs over there, which, uh, not very good for us. <laughs> Don't really want those eggs to, uh, be popping. I mean, that's... Well, I, I guess it... Well, if it pushes them over cap substantially, then it is good. Uh, but if it doesn't push them over, then it's not so good. So let's see, now we have another breeding push. Let's see, can we get towards this emitter? Yeah, there's a cannon there. Oh, the glorious cannon. Stability at last. That's what we want to see. Beautiful. Cannon, you hold your ground. How's down here? Holy crap, this emitter just got taken! <laughs> That emitter just got taken without me even doing anything because I guess because we were putting pressure up here, there was no they were at creeper cap as well, so it's like a double whammy for them. Um, that's actually super hilarious. That uh, the map itself was like, yeah, these don't push. You need to push it yourself. But just the amount of AC that we've generated uh, was pushing. Uh, now, unfortunately for us, we are under creeper cap like permanently now. Uh, so no matter what we do, they will always be uh, raring to get... Ooh, nullifier. Okay. We are just chilling here. We are making sure this nullifier comes online because we're under cap. We're under cap. And if we're under cap, we need every uh, bit of resource that we can tick off the box. That egg's gonna... No egg! No! Don't destroy the tower! Oh. But you know what? At least the Nullifier fire survived. Uh, we're gonna lose our little mortar, mortar set down here. Oh no, I don't care about the mortar set, I care about the Nullifier. Nullifier first, then the rest. I think that's a that's a pretty good rule. I am gonna stay down here uh, because it looks like there are a couple eggs underneath and an egg can very, very easily take out our little friendly Nullifier as well. So step one, let's just clean this up, clean up the mean streets. Step two, we'll finally go take out that breeding zone just to the south of us. So, two-step process. I'm really paranoid of this egg right now. You know, I'm waiting for it. It's coming. It's your turn. There we go. Get out of here. Nobody, nobody invited you to the party, senior egg. Um, although, it would be nice to get rid of that. But I think getting rid of this is next on the list. Uh, I don't you know what? Eggs are bad, right? Eggs are bad. So if we can if we can get our eggs taken care of, because there really isn't much in the way of creeper generation up here, so this should be relatively easy. Comparatively, I should say. Um, so let's look. Is there a nullifier down here? I should have looked at where the nullifier... Ooh, there's a, there's a mortar, which is uh, beautiful. Uh, and there's a nullifier and a cannon. Ooh, cannon, no! Okay, but the nullifier survived. No, stop shooting! Holy crap, that jerk! Oh my god, the, the, the nullifier made it. Literally, just left it on the nullifier and just said go. 
You know what? Victory. That was amazing. I was, and you know what? That That is just going to keep shooting eggs that pop out. So we cannot leave. Oh, nullifier's on. We did it. No more eggs from you. Get out of here. We got other things to do. Let's take a look at how uh, Creep is looking. It's not super deep, not too bad. Uh, but yeah, we have we have just our progress. I mean, this is this is the big games right here. This is shutting off a huge, huge, big breeding zone. Hopefully shutting off their stash as well. Although that's probably going to pop at the most inopportune time and cause more zones to be breeding, of course. It's kind of what stashes tend to do. Although there isn't too much in it, so I think, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Uh, stash, yeah, stash is at 300, so it still it has some in it. It has some, but I think we can, I think we can handle that. Especially before the next breeding cycle comes about. That's the key. Get out of here, stash. You're being handled. Get mortared. I don't really care. Yeah, no more stash. No more stash. Oh, it's beautiful. No more breeding zone. Oh, they're getting a little bit of, they're getting that tiny, tiny bit. Just that fraction of breeding. But that's okay, that's okay. They're, they're allowed us some, you know. They're allowed some. But yeah, it feels pretty good. I mean, it's just nice and a nice, chill cursor map, I would say. Oh, and we have the other eggy boy. Uh, I believe this one, the nullifier, was in the top left, I think. I think I, well, I made a remark at the beginning of the map of that. So let's uh, let's let's check how that does. Uh, see if my memory serves. Uh, but we need to wait for this egg, of course, because egg explosions always cause some pretty big ripple effects. And I want to really get into this. Okay, sir. Uh, can we get, like, a cannon? Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I was like, I think we need a little bit of a defensive measure here other than us, because, oddly enough, we've gained quite a bit of ground, right? But we're still only at 1.55 power, right? Our power has not like grown substantially you know we're, we're half a point higher than we were like towards the beginning of the map we've taken most of the map i want to say uh i i think i mean seeing all these i kind of want these to turn on uh, i do care about that uh that egg generating boy but if i could have three mortars just launching away i think that's gonna be uh just just a solid solid amount of creeper destruction because we're still 2.7 you know, we still have quite a fair bit to go. Not too much, though. We are. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not you two, please. Okay, good. Okay. Very, very good. We have saved two of the three. They'll get charged up. We'll save the third now. Make sure that, that doesn't go anywhere. And then we'll we'll officially head on back for that, uh... That spore launcher down there. Over here, we're looking pretty good. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty, pretty good. And, yeah. Oh. You haven't, you haven't gained any power yet. We want to keep you alive. We want to keep this area shooting to the maximum. And yeah, that's gonna, that's just gonna, it's gonna do good work for us. It's just gonna do good work. Uh, I am starting the m massive process of taking out all of the breeding zones because oh, we took that one. We just took this one, which is very good to see as well. Uh, the more the merrier. Hopefully the nullifier does pop up right around here for this spore launcher. Should. Any second. There we go. Okay, it was directly behind it. Uh, and it gets us another hill. Hill's always good. There's always mortars on hills. It's just like, it's like a fact of life. If you find a hill, there's gonna be a mortar on top. It's what they do. Uh, no, don't kill my mortar. Don't kill my nullifier. I want no more eggs, please. Please and thank you very much. And yeah, I mean, we are really cutting into everything. Now, how's the top looking? The top is looking pretty good. I want to take that and try and sneak our way around to that. I think I think that would be fun. This corner, eh, this corner's like fine, but, you know, I mean, we probably can take this relatively easy. We're like right there, right? So maybe if we take this. Again, it's just about cutting off their creep generation at the moment. So, everything is looking pretty good again. Energy is looking grand. We have the defenses we need. We have everything. I do know that we do have to get behind the emitter, of course. Uh, I think it's probably top left, I think it was. Something like that. Again, maybe. Uh, I would love it, because we could already have an emitter down. But no, 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 no. Oh, wait, no. This is the one that was right next to it. It's, like, right here, I think. Right? This is where the emitter was. It was literally, like, right there, like, on top of it. So we need to, like, super surround this. There were a couple cannons, I believe, uh, so that will help. But holy moly, I forgot that this was, like, the bad emitter. Uh, this is 75. What's the top emitter? I didn't even check. 
Uh, this one's 75 as well. Okay, so we have two 75 emitters. We could just take that, because you know there's going to be some orders up there, and that'll start, you know, training this area. Um, we're close to this, but we're not, like, quite there, and I'm kind of like, do we want to just have something draining away, uh, or do we want to uh, push other things? Now, pushing this out will probably get us some cannons. Uh, that also would just be valid, I, you know, just to just to hem everything in, right? We want it, we need to encircle these bad boys. We need to keep them down. We need to keep the creep from uh, spreading. But where are my friends? Where are my cannons? There we go. There's a cannon. I will take it. Thankfully, thankfully, thankfully. Uh, do we get any more cannons anymore? Anymore? Any, anything? Anything good? Anything fun? Anything we can use? New? No, New? No. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we're pushing this to the wall, I think. I think we're just going to push this to the wall and try and snag this and snag that. Because I think that's going to be the way that we truly can get a good surround in, right? Because these only breed every 30 seconds. That gives us some time uh, to make some pretty big headway. And then if we can make that headway, hold it with a couple cannons. You know, not too many. We don't need a million. We just need, just need like this, like two cannons. That's huge. That is super, super huge. It's going to keep uh, the creep at bay. It's going to keep this from joining down here as well, which is also awesome. Uh, so let's just see. I think there should be another cannon around here somewhere. Uh, you know, gotta, gotta trust. I trust. I believe. I believe in the cannons. Um, maybe I'm believing too much. Maybe. But there's got to be one. It's like right here, right? Fingers crossed. You can do a cannon. Ugh. A part of me is like, I should... S oh, wait, there's one right there. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, yes. See, that's what we're looking for. Cannons right on top of the emitter. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, is this going to give us the ability to... Oh, oh! We even had... Oh, yeah, that's a nullifier. I will take it, take it, take it. Uh, looks pretty good, if you ask me. Nullifier going down. Just our uh, cursor being here is, like, draining so much of the creep here uh, that just the south is pushing out, you can see, as well, which is pretty, pretty substantial. Uh, but this is a 75er, so this is a large portion of their creep production down. They're down to 0.7. Holy crap, they're getting low. We are almost done here, and that is a bad boy. Are there any eggs sneakily under you? There were. Let's free our nullifier of the eggy egginess. Uh, keep that going. Egginess more and more. Don't care about that tower. Just care about that nullifier. <laughs> That's the trick. Because a part of me was like, oh my god, I can save that. And I was like, wait a second. I need to save this nullifier. So that goes down. We're just having a bad day. And eggs. Be oh, see, there were two cannons over there. I knew there were cannons behind. I knew it. Um, but look at this. Oh, so much easier just to take the rest of this. No problems. Oh, and that is all of our totems. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If that's all of our totems, does that mean we get a sniper down here that can shoot those before they pop and be annoying? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. That's fine. We're, we, we have other things to do. We got other lands to take. And I think starting with this patch, again, going towards that breeding patch, because there's definitely the nullifier behind this emitter. It's definitely behind it. 100% in my mind. So if we can get that, I mean, that's just going to hold it for us, right? Uh, now we're taking this. It's uh, mostly there. Mostly there. It's Yeah, there we go. We've, we've effectively taken it. It's not really going to do much in the way of breeding. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit. But now we're using the wall. Ooh, jeez, we're... Even like, the entire top is ours. That's awesome. So our goal is to get up to this top, ideally within 15 seconds. Uh, that's what I would like to see. So move it, move it, move it. We have 10 seconds left to clear as much of this as possible. Uh, five seconds. Four, two, one. Breed, my pretties. Breed. There we go. Okay, that's... That's just utter destruction for them. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, we didn't get a, a full breed, of course, but we got we got a pretty big proportion of breeding growing on. Uh, I guess the question is, do we even care about that breeding zone right now? And I kind of do. You know, I mean, we can just kind of finish it off. I mean, I'd rather just focus on the emitter, but making sure that doesn't 
you know, do too much. You know, it can breed now, and then it'll just die off, guaranteed. But here we go. We have the breeding cycle from the back. We got a cannon on the front, shooting that bad boy. Two more cannons coming down. Where's my nullifier? Seriously, where's my nullifier? Isn't the nullifier over here? Pause, unpause? Maybe? Nullifier? Uh... Nullifier. <laughs> what is going on right now? Uh, does it need to wait a certain time frame to build it? No. Oh, thank gosh. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. Oh, geez, that egg popped. Alright, so we're going to stay with our cursor right here. Seems like it should just be built... We're just keeping the cursor right there for life. Uh, you can do it. Come on. Just put it down. You're the best. Okay, it's down again. Success, success, success. Okay, it's built up now. No real chance. Creep is officially gone. A little shame because some of our time was lost to the nullifier not getting built. You know, I mean, we had it clear as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, it happens. It happens. Uh, ooh. There are a couple of eggs just super hidden under there. Oh, look at them go. Please, stop. <laughs> just reclaim. <laughs> Oh, there we go. 100%. All completed. This has been Cursor Assist 01. Uh, yeah, definitely. Our cursor did not get overpowered. You know, it's not like by the end we were able to just completely destroy. We still had to go go at nice uh, intervals, use our, use our stratagems, hopefully. That was the goal, you know, try and take out key areas and make our moves. Uh, but the AC did win out in the end. Look at it flow. It flows beautifully. Nice foam party for the wonderful day. And I hope you have a wonderful day. So uh, let's jump on out of here. Check our time. Uh, there we go. It was 23.19. You know, not too bad. 22.25. You know, 22 minutes. We were, we were close. Uh, but it seems like a pretty good average time. You know, around 23 uh, 24 minutes seems to be uh, the quickness with uh, with this map, so fantastic. Hope you uh, enjoyed, and yeah, have a wonderful day. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.